I hope everyone did here, hope you're keeping well and welcome to the channel. So Crown Zenith or Crown Zenith however you want to say it is fast approaching with its first release date on the January 20th of 2023 where we're getting the Elite Trainer box as well as the two Regidrago and I think Regilecki box. So today we're going to be looking at some of the English cards that's been released. So we're going to be taking a look at this first Radiant cards and they are this. So we've got the Radiant Eternators and Radiant Chargeable. Now you might have seen for V-Star Universe that we got this first look at the Radiant Charizard. Um, I've actually not looked at the V-Star Universe set and I'm not actually sure if they're in that set. But we have got a first release of the English versions of this. So we've got the Radiant Eternators and just take a look at the card. I actually quite like it. Um, it's a bit hard to, to judge a card just by pictures. But for me I actually quite like this Pokemon. Especially when I was playing Sword and Shield. Um, I've actually got this in shiny form as well. So I'm pretty happy that they're doing a Radiant card of this. And Radiant Chargeable, not quite a popular Pokemon, but I actually quite liked um, using this Pokemon on, on the games. But I actually quite like that how they've uh, gone for something like this, because it's not exactly a popular Pokemon in my opinion. But I'm pretty uh, happy that they've chosen this as a Radiant card. So let's take a look at his next card. So we've got the V-Star cards that's coming up. So we've got the Rotom V-Star. So that's just like your standard V-Star that you get in this set. Um, it's it's not a trainer gallery, sorry, a glaring gallery as it is in this set. So it's not one of them cards, it's just a standard Rotom V-Star card. But one in the glaring gallery is this, the Mewtwo V-Star card. Now, if anybody's got the Charizard UPZ box, you'll have seen the um, v Charizard V-Star from the Charizard angle fighting the Mewtwo, which is pretty awesome. I'm pretty happy that they brought out a card like this. So you actually did see this in the Japanese version of V-Star Universe. But pretty happy um, they've included this and we get to look at it in English now. So it's, it's still pretty much the same. Obviously, apart from the language, it's in English. And yeah, I am, this is a 100% chase card of mine to go with the Charizard that I've already got. Two of V-Star cards that we've seen in the V-Star Universe is this. So the Glaceon V-Star and the Leafeon V-Star card. So... We've actually seen these in V-Star Universe, but we've get this first look in the English cards. So these are quite popular last year for the V-Star boxes that they come in. Um, but we didn't actually get these cards. So these are both the alternative arts in the glaring gallery. So again, there's so many chase cards for this set that I'm looking forward to. Um, to try and get my hands on. Because I'm actually going to go all out in this set. Um, I pre-ordered quite a bit of Crown Zenith, so... I'm actually looking forward to trying getting these cards at least. And then moving into this, so this one, Deoxys V-Star, which has been uh, revealed in the English. Now, I don't I don't think this one is in V-Star Universe. I know there is a, a Deoxys V-Star card, uh, but I don't think it's this one. So this has been revealed for the set, and you, you can just see it in the bottom left-hand corner. It is a glaring gallery card as well. So, another again, a Deoxys V-Star alternative art. It's just too, too nice, way too nice. So I think most of these will be my chase cards. I know I, I probably keep repeating a lot, but again, just so much rebuke of a card there for a, a Deoxys as well. And then moving into a standard V card. So we've got the Kyogre V and as well as the little Q Green V. So these will be featuring in the normal set. So you'll see on the Kyogre, it's the card 37 out of 159 and Greedent is 120 out of 159 so there will be 159 cards in the main set so we know that at least we don't actually know fully unless it has been announced I've not seen it um, the full amount of cards with all the secret rares in the set I should imagine it could be around about the 350 mark again so again quite a not a big set but you like a standard set that you get and moving into the Glaring, I keep saying trainer gallery, glaring gallery cards that we already know from the VSAR universe. So these are the English versions of it. So we get the Lapras, Altaria, and the Bill Barrel. And I actually quite like the Bill Barrel. I think it's quite actually quite cute. Uh, we all the Bidoof in background and that. So pretty sweet artwork on that. And to be fair, all, all three of them they're quite nice as well. But I think for me, Bibberl. I keep saying Bill Barrel. It sounds better, Bill Barrel. I didn't put an L in there, but Bibberl is probably my favorite out of all three of these okay so moving on to another two galarian gallery cards is the feeble and numel uh, sorry we thought it was numel it's ditto card so 
even though it features quite a lot of numbers on it, we, we do know that this is in the uh, V Star Universe set. Because um, we did it on a previous video where we I picked it out as a favourite of mine, it still is. But this is actually a Ditto card, I thought it would be a Nummel. So you do see a Ditto in disguise there on the right hand side. And the Feeble card is like, there's so much going on with this card, it's, it's kind of like got a, a comic book effect. I actually quite like it. So that even though it's, it looks a bit like a standard card to me that's that's quite a nice card because i like i like my comics i like my marvel and my dc and that so it kind of gives that vibe off of that card as well so i'm pretty happy with with that at least that they've got to the, that sort of artwork for that card because I, I feel like it resembles that pokemon so it kind of works for that card so moving on to the final slide, we've got this first look at two trainer cards here. And the first one we're going to be looking at is the full art trainer card, Elysia Sparkle. Again, it's quite a nice full art card. It looks like she's sat the pose ready for this artwork on this card to be done. So it kind of fits in nice. You've got the fusion strike in the top right corner. So a lovely full art card there. And as well as this, we do get a glaring gallery, Gardenia's Vigo. So to me, they look like they've took the time with this card. There's a lot going off in it. It's quite a nice garden put together. You've got your roses, you've got your cherubi in the tree. You see the blossom in the bottom corner. And she's just there. I don't know if she's watering blossom or the roses. But such a beautiful card. Um, alternative art card even. But yeah, uh, again, another chase card of mine that I'm looking hope, hoping to get for this set. And if you've enjoyed this video today, be sure to smash that like button. And if you're new here and you haven't subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button along with notifications bell. Let me know what's your favourite card that you're looking forward to in Crown Zenith. So that's going to do it for now, and I'll see you on the next one. See you there.